All right. First things first, I want to point out that all of you guys are maniacs. I asked you guys a very simple question. What is it that you want to see in terms of content tomorrow? And and look, just look at look at this. Look what you've done. I go to the YT Dan community page. I scroll past some dank Yu-Gi-Oh! Duel Links memes. I get to the poll to see the video for tomorrow has 39% for best decks for XC summoning and 39% for five XCs we need ASAP with 39 likes. You guys are maniacs and you cannot be trusted. What's going on my boys, YT Dan back at it again with another Duel Links video. And today we are gonna be talking about the new Zexal World exceeds monsters, exceeds summoning. So if you guys like that type of information and content, I'm gonna need you to crush that like button and subscribe. I'm gonna be uploading deck content on a daily basis. And once I'll be getting in there with streams, we'll never ever gonna miss. But I'm gonna just get right onto the subject, my boy. We are talking about the new XC summoning technique. In case you didn't know, I mean, you should know this. When you take two monsters and overlay them, you can basically summon your exceed monster. These monsters have levels no more, and now they have ranks. And now we're gonna be able to use these monsters to do all kinds of weird and interesting things. So the first thing I wanna point out, there are a ton of exceed monsters in Yu-Gi-Oh! Um, in Yu-Gi-Oh! Duel Links, we have a very small pool. Right now we're looking at two, three, four, and six in terms of our ranks. And honestly, right now, in terms of ranks, we're looking for two things for mainstream competitive viability. Number one, low cost. We need something to be able to summon, you know, easily with one or two cards. We need a powerful effect. The most powerful effects, of course, are gonna be cards that can remove a card, destroy a card, banish a card. But right now there's a small handful of cards like that. And the cost is kind of a little too high unless you have some kind of summoning spam deck that specializes around level four, but we can get into that later. But right now the best cards that we can use are gonna be your rank fours. Um, and your rank fours are gonna be the most common thing that you can play within most of these decks. So one thing I find very interesting is that coming back to Yu-Gi-Oh! Duel Links after you haven't played in a long time, it's really easy to be surprised by the types of decks and the amount of decks that are actually viable in ranked PvP. You already have a ton of uh, diversity and versatility when it comes to your ranked matches, but what's insane right now, um, people are, um, what I want to say, people are really hopping on Shir Nui's bandwagon. So Shir Nui is definitely like not only tier one meta, but it is um, high on everyone's mind because right now there is a current tier one Shir Nui deck and a tier three Shir Nui deck, which means you have more opportunities to bump into Shir Nui as you're playing on ranked PvP. So with that in mind, what I really want to focus on in these decks are my turn one plays. Now, personally for me that I have two great decks that I think work really good with Exceed Summoning. There are a ton of decks that work with this. So I'm gonna give them an honorable mention. If I didn't mention your deck or a deck that you think works with Exceeds, let me know in the comments below. But basically I wanna give honorable mentions to Destiny Heroes. They have a plethora of level four monsters. And then also um, they can definitely have tons of exploding power. Utopia could really help out deck like that just for a strong one turn, first turn play. But then again, Destiny Heroes have their own packages, which is not necessary. It's more of a win more, it's more of a very situational type of thing. So that's why they're gonna get an honorable mention. Same thing for Blackwing. They have a ton of level four monsters, but you know, I do see people trying to squeeze a little Utopia in there every now and again. Another one of those decks that just don't need it. Honestly, it's a win more, so you can kind of leave that to the side. And then also, uh, we have Light Sworn. Now, I really do like Light Sworn for the Utopias, for the Gaga Cowboys, and pretty much anything else you want to play. I think you can even play the Zuba Zuba uh, General as well. And you can pretty much go in with your Light Sworn decks, but the same thing kind of works with Light Sworn and these other archetypes. It's definitely win more. So, if you're most of your combos are win more, 
you know, what's the point? You know, like, why are you even bothering with the exceeds, right? And I definitely understand that you have the need and the urge to play it because it's new, but win more. So, you know, there's no point in even playing these type of cards. But in these two decks right here, I think that these, the Utopia and then also Gaga Cowboy come in really handy because rank four is just the best ranks that we have right now, just flat out. But the first one I want to talk about is Six Samurai. Now, what I find interesting about Six Samurai is that it's mainstay combo of summoning um, the huge Six Sam negate and then setting up a dual wield really works awesome. It's hilarious. It actually took me from Platinum to Legend this season. And I think that it's really interesting that that combo still holds true. And we can now go into Utopia on the first turn or we can go into Gaga Ga Ga Cowboy. Now, I was experimenting with Utopia and using um, Xyz block, but I never got off Xyz block as long as I had the six Sams. Most of the time Xyz block became a cosmic cyclone fighter or some kind of fodder for something else or a brick. So I just pretty much dropped Xyz block and focused heavily on using um, the six Samurai cards to search out and manipulate and summon my monsters. Especially when you're talking about using cards like Sheen's Dojo. Sheen's Dojo is really good for the Six Samurai Xyz Cross regular Six Sam deck. I'm having a lot of fun using Dojo pretty much just to get out that additional level four. And then being able to either go into my Synchro or Xyz combo is really cool. So in the Six Samurai deck, you can pretty much have the ability to go Xyz Summon, Fusion Summon, Synchro Summon, and special summon and uh there is no tribute summon but if you did you would have all the tri all the summons in one deck and that would have been amazing but um right now i think that this is definitely a really good deck a really good option i think you should play it on ties that tilt i was using ready for victory just because you know i'm trying to get leveled up but basically uh ties that tilt with six sams awesome combo great deck should play and my big winner here, the, my favorite deck, honestly, is Kowoki Miru. Now, that's going to be pretty interesting in general because you guys know that back in the day, I had a strong hatred for this deck. But, I mean, things do change. The times, they are changing. And the cheeks, they are a collapping. So, it's time to get in here, my boy, with these spicy Kowoki Miru cards. And what I really like about these cards is that it has a ton of versatility and we are also using spiritual beast tamer Winda in the deck to pretty much even it out so spiritual beast tamer Winda, when it's destroyed by any means you can pretty much ritual summon i'm oh, not ritual summon you can pretty much special summon any ritual beast card from your deck or extra deck and we can pretty much go into uh the ulti apalio or we can go into the ulti uh pedal fin now, most of the time, Petal Fence is going to be for your defense, but Ulti Apalio is definitely really strong in terms of just being aggressive. And what I really like about that, it gives us one strong turn to stall, and then we can just go all out for the OTK. Now, what I think is cool about this deck is that, as you guys know, the Quoki Mero monsters must either show a card to keep themselves alive, or you get rid of an Iron Core Quoki Mero, or pay some kind of cost to keep this card alive. What's cool about the Xyz summoning is after you have used um, your uh, Ur your Urnite or your Urmite to uh, special summon another Kuoki Maru card, you can Xyz into Utopia. And when you hit Utopia, you can go ahead and summon your Maximus or follow up with any other plays that you have. I really feel like this is a really strong deck, and I think that you should really run it on uh, the ties that tilt or. Uh, maybe run it with some trap cards and try it with balance, but I definitely enjoy playing uh, This with the Xyz and I think that this is one of the most powerful Rogue decks that are out there that it, everybody's sleeping on and nobody's playing so get out there Clap the meta and climb the KOG. Well, I'm getting out of here for today. My boys I want to thank you so much for watching and as always keep it dank Different Dimension Demons Conquerors and Kings of the Different Dimension The Triple D Were banished 
from the metagame and cast out into the shadows for all time. Ignored by the tier list 